hi everyone i just thought i would film um a little video because we have had pumpkin waffle here for three months now just over three months i was going to film a two month update video but the weekend that i was going to do it we ended up having to take him to the vets with a pretty bad case of cystitis so um ended up not doing that because we had a lot going on he's doing all right now bless him he's doing really good now actually it was quite scary we I woke up one, oh, I think it was a Sunday morning. I noticed him go to his litter box and he kind of was in there for a while. And when he came out, there was like, only the, he'd only done the tiniest wee. And I was like, mm, is this something we should be concerned about? The next time he went, he was in there for a while, nothing. And then like in between that and me calling the vets, he had been in and out, in and out and just couldn't go. So they told us to take him straight over which we did. They gave, ended up giving him like some painkillers to try and clear it because um, they thought it was just like a urinary blockage of some sort. Uh, and then we took him home and they hoped that that would work. It didn't. Then we had to take him back um, and he had to stay there for a few days. It was even more scary because that night when they called to update us, they put the catheter in, so that was fine. So it was able to clear the urine from his bladder but then they contacted us after they'd done some scans and they couldn't tell in his bladder whether it was a blood clot or a tumour. I was just crying like the vet was on the phone to me and I was just like he could obviously tell I was crying because I was just sniffing a lot and then before he hung up the call I was just like is he okay though is he all right is he awake and he was fine he'd had his anaesthetic and, and he was very good so they stayed in another night the next day they called and they were going to go ahead and do some like a CT scan I think. That eventually came back and they had a really hard time deciding as well but it turned out it was just a bad ulcer from the cystitis that he had. They were amazing, they kept us updated, incredible and just thank god for insurance because it would have cost about £3,500 otherwise. And then it was a case of just leaving the catheter in to make sure there wasn't any blood in the urine and it was all running clear. Uh, they had him on some like anti-inflammatories and stuff and then when he came home we had like three different types of medication to give him so now basically we, we got him a second litter box um to kind of reduce any stress if he doesn't want to go to one there's the other got um some fell away to reduce stress another water bowl and he's on a wet food diet now they told us not to go for one of the really like the special urinary diets or whatever they said they don't real there's no real evidence of them working so we didn't bother doing that he's just on a wet food diet we mix extra water in with it every time as well so he's getting a lot more water that way i think and he seems absolutely fine um he <laughs> when he came home he kind of just inspected the flat and then settled straight back in didn't want to be away from us slept on our pillows in between our heads that night and yeah so that's why i didn't do a two month video but this is now his three month video and like I just can't remember what life was like before having him here it's crazy and I just I love him so much and I just want to give him the best life and make him happy and I think he's happy and relaxed and we just love having him here and and just so happy that we found him and he found us and that it was able to to happen even throughout lockdown and everything else that's going on it happened so quickly when we got him it really did but we just, we've said so many times we think it was meant to be because we couldn't have found a more perfect boy. Yeah, this is Mr. Pumpkin Waffles third month with us and I'm just gonna film like a little, little video of kind of a day in the life video of Pumpkin Waffles so you can see what he gets up to. <laughs> Can't you just run into something? So, this is the morning routine. I will get meowed at until I get out of bed. Or Ollie will get meowed at until he gets out of bed. Depending on whose turn it is to feed him. And then he runs through and sits in front of this cupboard because he knows the food is in there. <laughs> and he just goes crazy. Hello! <laughs> Boy. Okay, let's feed you. And he will also help <laughs> help open the cupboard. So this is the cupboard that we have set up for him. And you'd be very helpful to help me show it, aren't you? So we have a basket full of his food here. And then a basket full of his treats and stuff at the back. Um, thank you. 
dry food that we can't really give him anymore. But he gets that occasionally if we need to put tablets in it or something. This is full of dreamies. And then these are his balls. So this is... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I should have filmed this when he was eating. Excuse me, please. Excuse me, thank you. It's on your paws, what are you doing? Okay, this is the bowl used for his breakfast. And then, do you want some chicken today? Yeah, let's have some chicken today. Okay, I'll hurry up. And he will help you put it down. <laughs> there you go. Now that we have to put water in his food, he gets it all in his little beard here. <laughs> oh. Okay, he just one of his little shaved patches from when he went to the vets, which has grown back quite nicely actually. You can see how much it's grown back, but it's got quite a bit to go till it gets to there. <laughs> and he had like, thank you, he had under his chin shaved as well. So he's like, <laughs> got like a really big chest now where that comes out. And then I think one of these paws was shaved too. Yeah, this one just here. Oh, I mean, very good posing. Thank you. Yeah, oh, baby boy. <laughs> hey! He's very much a lap cat. He'll, uh, most times when I come and sit down here, he'll come in. Can have a nice sit, won't you? Yeah. We just don't know what you used to do on the streets without a lap to sit on. Hmm? No idea. You were meant to be a house cat, weren't you? <laughs> And this is what happens whenever we go into the kitchen, even when it's not time to feed him. Excuse me. Sir. Are you not going to do it now because the camera's on you? I already got you, it's too late. And this is him being a super cuddly teddy bear. He's a good boy, really, aren't he? Yeah, oh, look at that little face. Look at that little face. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's the cutest. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to say he also really enjoys... Wait, look at me. Pumpkin. He's not going to do it now. Boop. <laughs> he doesn't mind a boop, do you? Okay, and then sometimes, when you give him a boot, he does this. <laughs> and then this is what we have to put up with when we eat anything. <laughs> He's so bad. I've got you on camera this time, pumpkin. Yeah. Shaming you. He just can't stop himself. He'll come for mine in a minute, which is just here. Sometimes he'll sit on the table and be very good about it and just kind of watch. Other times, 
face in food. Tries to, he tries to figure out a different route around to get it. That's what he's doing right now. He'll be up on the sofa arm and he'll think I can, I can come from this way round. <laughs> yes, you. Oh, he's going. And here he is again. <laughs> Just a never ending cycle. <laughs> now these treats that we give him, he goes mental for. So here he is. <laughs> it's this, this cat jerky we found at Pets at Home, or Ollie found at Pets at Home. These ones are chicken and fish. And these ones are longer, which you would think saves your fingers a little bit, but no. Yeah, he just goes crazy for it. That was your own fault. You knew that was going to happen. I thought you wanted footage. I, I didn't ask for it, did I? So what we <laughs> what we tend to do instead is just throw them at him. This is the only thing he does this with. He, dreamies, crispies, he will eat them kindly and nicely out of your hand. These, he's just a beast. <laughs> you ready? Want to drop one? Oh, <laughs> he just loses his mind over them. I don't know what it is. If anyone knows, please just tell us, but. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh my God, he caught that one in his mouth. Oh. And I caught it on film. Okay, you ready for the last one? And then we have to show him our empty hands after he's done because otherwise he just keep going for us because he thinks that we're jerky. <laughs> whoa, he did it again. You're so clever. But yeah. That's that. This is your favourite toy, isn't it? First of all, there's my empty hand. No more treats. This is your favourite toy. It went to the vets with you. Yeah. You're more interested in the treats right now. But this is his favourite toy. Hi. Oh, hello. You're going to go up on the table? Yes, I am, he says. <laughs> You're just going to sit there. That's a good boy. So it's treat time and just to prove that he's not always a beast, here's a dreamy and he's very gentle with that and then he just licks your little hand. So he's got his purple cat toy mm -hmm. and he has to try and get them out of these bits and from in here and he loves it. Go on. Good boy. Scoops it up. is funny because when we first got him this he just had absolutely no idea what to do with yeah it. he would he would get these ones in here wouldn't he but yeah. like these bits he would just stare at that and then stare at us can you do it did you get it you got it Good. is that all of them yeah gosh that was quick I told you he was clever oh they all gone And then we have to put it away because he keeps looking for them otherwise and yeah. it's really sad. This is one of his favourite toys to bat around, but only if he's in the right mood. So I don't know if he will be. If we go... Boop. No. Oh. Ah, uh, yes. The Ribbon of Doom. Oh. <laughs> he's very lazy about his play. I think he's just, he's mainly become lazier since it got hotter Yeah. As well. And then this is Mr. Waffle on his windowsill. Likes to keep watch. And we got these um, things from Flat Cats. So they're just felt coat on. I obviously won't take it off all the way. Um, but yeah, and then he just can't, can't get out. So he's safe to look out and feel the breeze without being able to escape or fall or anything. And he enjoys it. He likes to sit up. We've seen a fox a couple of times, haven't we, sweet boy? And he doesn't like it when the other cats are outside. So we have to bring him away from the window, bless him. But he loves it. Look at his little tail going. <laughs> Mr. Waffle. It's time for my lunch break. Oh no, don't think he's going to cooperate today. He's very tired. 
usually on my lunch break he'll come and help me make my sandwich and then sit on my lap but sleepy boy today he has awoken are you gonna come help <gasps> here he is hi just an early morning sit by the window loving his life He's loving the breeze today. So cute. <laughs> yeah, I think you can see these better now that it's now that it's daylight. We've got um yeah, you can see it here, so he can't get out, he can't fall or anything like that. And he, he doesn't make any attempt to either. He just kinda sits. Very very good boy like this. But enjoys the breeze and looking out and yeah, I think it's nice for him, especially when he's used to, to being outside because he was living on the streets. Nice that he gets some air. When it's hot, we give him wow. Licky Licks from the freezer. So he's got like a little kitty spice pop, basically, and he loves it. Look at him, look at him go. <laughs> that little tongue. He's so cute, pumpkin waffle. So at bedtime, sometimes Pumpkin Waffle comes by himself. Some usually he just get carried in. He like likes the king that he is. Yeah. Oh look how cute. And then yes. he might not do it today because there's a camera on him. Oh. oh. He just comes and has a cuddle. Don't you my sweet boy? He'll stay here for a little while, have a nice cuddle, and then eventually he climbs off me and goes and sleeps down there on Ollie's side by his feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he takes <laughs> up the whole bed. It's difficult sometimes. But yeah, we Not just that we mind. have our bedtime cuddles, and that is basically the day in a day in the life of a pumpkin waffle. Such a hard day. I know. Every day is a struggle. It's been very hot this week, so he struggled a bit, but nice and cool now. Look how much he's loving this. Oh, baby boy. Wow. <laughs> Say goodnight pumpkin waffle. Ah, oh, there you go. Good boy. Say it's for night. Yeah, so that's it. Um, that is what life is like for Mr. Pumpkin over here. He just has the best time. He does what he wants. He gets treats. He gets food, he gets cuddles and kisses. Yeah, we think we're giving him a good life here and, and he's made such a difference to us as well. Just like, just having this little creature around, especially with everything else that's going on. He just kind of completed our little family in our flat, so we're very pleased to have him. And we hope he's here a very long time and uh, we might do another update soon. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I will see you guys sometime in the future. I hope you're all staying safe and well and doing your best to get through this time and wearing masks and staying home and doing all the things you should be doing during a pandemic. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you next time. Bye.